given where we are coming from, Dalits are more cohesive, better organized, more empowered, and therefore less marginalized than they have been at any point in time in millennia. See, Mr. Raju's comment is oxymoronic. First, it says that Dalits have made progress, and on the second, say there are biases. How do we account to this? Either there has to be a progress without bias, or there has to be bias without progress. It's not a binary. There is relativity involved. I agree with you, Rahul. So when, when, when we engage, let's say, when Dalits are being organized, and you know, they have no other option. And what this current or previous political dispensation has done is, they have relegated, they have withdrawn the Dalit humanity completely, and they have made a tokenized political class. And because it's a tokenized representation that we see, we have, and it has become a this discourse that Dalits have been doing well off. Record says, not more than 3% Dalits graduate with a university degree. When we talk about IIMs and IIT, these institutions, for example, IIMs have been made autonomous, meaning the director is the boss, the director is the king, you can take the decision the way you want. And IIM, shamefully, all the IIMs have not admitted any Dalit or Adivasi student into its doctoral program, which is called FPM program. In addition to that, and there's no record to that, and when we look at the faculties of the 496 whatever faculties, overwhelmingly, only 25 to less percentage belong to SCS to OBC, which is close to 85 percentage of the population. Okay. Palam Raju, respond to this very powerful argument about tokenism. You know, a Dalit as president, the likes of Suraj will allege, is tokenism. A Dalit as minister, people will allege is tokenism. That it is not genuine empowerment because you need to ensure that a message doesn't go out that they're completely out of the power equation. You will find one Dalit and put him in a position of power to send the message to the, to, to the Dalit community that, hey, we are taking care of your needs. It's not genuine empowerment. You're accused. The political class is accused of tokenism. Uh, I will definitely like to concede to that point that there is tokenism in politics, not only to the Dalits, but you know, to certain uh, categories of people. But having said that, I think there is a genuine intent to uplift the community. And uh, uh, I think Suraj has been specifically uh, addressing the issue of the faculty positions not being filled by Dalits. You know, I think Suraj, you must also acknowledge that we live in a competitive society. I'm not saying that there aren't any biases. There certainly are biases across uh, institutions, across uh, strata. But I think when we are talking about institutions like the IITs and IIMs, there is a point beyond which you cannot compromise in the quality of the faculty that you are trying to draw. I am sure that there are brilliant people in Dalits who are out there, uh, and I think it is a question of finding that match or that person wanting to be a That's a, a good faculty. point. He has been education minister. He says, you can't force me to make as IIM faculty someone as professor who's not qualified to teach financial analytics, cost accounting, pick any subject, unless he knows what to teach. Whether he, just because he's Dalit, he can't be given a job. That's why we are saying, incorporate them into the system, get them into pipeline, get them into the doctoral programs, and institutions, as a state institutions, have responsibility to go back to the community, try to elevate and try to target it's not going to happen within 50, 70 years of independence that Dalits who have been outcast and wretched and humiliated and degraded will suddenly one day become the director. We have to follow the procedures. And of course, if you look at the record, if you go to schools and IITs, IITs have been cesspool for the Dalits. IITs have not been encouraging the so-called institutes of national importance. And as a matter of fact, 26,000 plus suicides happen, not only Dalits, but students across within the institutions of higher learning. So if this is any indicative and not necessarily only Dalits, that means education institutes are not empowering students to think creatively. We have a very Brahminic system where the idea, where the professorial staff is not the Dalit. Your, uh, your support and mentorship is not Dalit. I was in Gandhinagar recently, and a Dalit is afraid to own him or herself up. They are just afraid. You can be a Brahmin and you can be proud, you can be a Muslim, you can be XYZ, you can still own it up.